Hi everyone. Welcome to the new episode on handling CSV data in Go Web applications. In this video, we'll cover how to download and upload data using CSV format. Let's get started. More often than not, the developers get requests from marketing or business development teams to download data in CSV format. And on the other side, the support teams want to upload configurations in CSV. Let us see how we can handle CSVs in Go. Here is the application that on this page displays usage data as a report. It has these columns and about 100 entries. For the people who love to work with their data locally on their machines, we will add a button here that will download the data displayed in CSV format. But first, let's see how this code works. Here we have only one API, Report. And this is the handler. In the handler, we first check if the HTTP method is get. If it is, we proceed. Then we define data, title and user stats. This method from the models fetches data from the database. I am not focusing on the interaction of models with the database as as developers, we prefer different ORM packages for the purpose. Here we pass the template. If there is an error, we return with HTTP error from here. This method is used to execute or render the template. This else block is for the if statement that checks the HTTP method. In the else block, we return with the method not allowed status. Let's look at the template. Here we define the head tag. It has a few styles. The title is used here in the heading. Then we define a table. These are the headers. Then we loop over and create rows here. Let's add a button when click downloads the CSV. We add the button here after the heading. On clicking this button, we call this API. This is the button text. Let's implement this API. We add a new API handler here. Let's say this handler function is report CSV handler. Let's implement this handler. We will copy the signature from the other handler. We pasted the implementation of this function to save time. Here, we define the buffer that we will write on the response writer. Next, a new CSV writer is created using the bytes buffer. In the CSV, we first write the headers using write function. A slice of strings is sent as an argument. Then, we fetch the usage statistics from the model function. This function returns user stats structure. Now we loop over this array and each item is taken in the variable user. Here, we write one row at a time. The user ID is an integer, so we convert it into a string. Then comes the user name. Login count is also an integer, so it is converted to a string. Last login time is converted to string using this format. The format looks like this.
This field, active, is a Boolean and is converted to a string using this method. After the loop, the data written to the writer is flushed. Then, in the response writer, we set up the headers like content type. It is set to CSV. And in content disposition, we set the attachment and file name as this. This makes sure that the file is downloaded with this name. At the end, we write the buffer bytes to the response writer. Let's start the server. Refresh the page. Let's click this Download CSV button. And it downloads this file. The data looks perfect. Now we will add functionality to upload a CSV file, add it to the database, and update the table on this page. We will begin by adding a form to upload a CSV file. It calls this API, the method used is POST, and the form data is multipart encoded. The input type is file, and it accepts files with extension .csv. And the button type is submit with this text. Now let's implement this API. Add another API here. We will now implement this handler. First, if the method is not post, we return from here with method not allowed status code. Next, we fetch the file from the form. If there is an error, return with the appropriate status code. Now defer the file closure. Next we create a new CSV reader that reads the file. All rows are read using this method, read all. Return with bad request HTTP status if there is an error. Use this model function to add rows to the database. In the end, we redirect to the report page. Let's look at the structure of the rows that are read from CSV. It is a slice of slices of string. The first row has the headers. All slices after the header row contain the values. Let's try the application. I cleared the data in the database. Let's upload a file. And the data gets added to the database. And that's it. We've successfully implemented CSV upload and download functionality in a Golang web application. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.